Uh, hi, I'm Luke from the Exiles. I'm here with Simon, and we're going to have a quick look at Third Master Dagger. Um, so, First Master Dagger is the inside line, second is crossed and better in armour, Third Master is working on the outside line. There's multiple different ways you might get into that. One of the ways we often do for beginners is a little bit of a triangle stepping footwork from a pendente to get you into the outside line there. You notice I'm in uh, posta longa, getting a nice solid stop, making sure that my right hand is forwards and so is my right leg. You can also do it from a reverso, but you'd either have to step in if you've got the time and the distance to do it, or if you've not got the time and distance, step back, okay? A little bit different. What you want to try and avoid doing is having left leg forwards when you're there, because then you're just stopping it with your arm. If he's bigger and stronger than you, it will tend to collapse and you'll get nailed. So, that's a remedy. You've got to stop. From there, I tend to wrap the fingers round just to stop him retreating. So if he tries pulling away, I've got him. Okay? And then if we're looking at the first play of the Getty, which is different to the first play of the Sami Dossi, all I'm doing is pulling down, opening up a bit of a window there. Yeah, I can turn the dagger away opens up a line for his face and then I go straight down the centre with another posture longer coming straight through, straight through his face. What I want to try and do is drop my body weight onto him so that he ends up, if you just come round Mike, so you just end up with this S curve to his body there. Yeah, so I'm still facing forwards, he's got that S curve. If I reach around his body and try and put it on, He's nice and straight and I have to be a lot stronger than him. So just do that one more time from that angle. Yep. Extremity and then body coming straight through. Straight into possible longer. Okay? From there I can take it down, get that leg back out, make sure he's still keeping hold of the dagger, and then you can either start attacking the man or disarming the dagger. Uh, you can go through the face as well. Being a bit nice to Simon by not going through space. Right, next play. Same remedy, but maybe we've not got enough space to get in, maybe he's pushing in, whatever it is. This time I'm going to pretty much close line him with my uh, right arm. So I'm dragging down and I'm pushing off with the left foot as I do. Close line into the face, wrap nice and tight, and then he's down. Okay, one more time, remedy, down, in, nice and tight, and down, okay. Right, so there are the two takedowns, you're either attacking the man or the rest of third master, you're attacking his arm. So, that comes in, there we go. If we're not going for the takedown, you start going for elbows. So the first one, good way of thinking of this is going into posture frontale, down to porta de ferro, stepping in through. There, so be striking in with this, trying to straighten out the arm, down into porta de ferro, and then trying to hyperextend the elbow, maybe break the arm. if you don't get the straight arm. You might be going for it, but it bends. So you end up with this position. So if you just come in and get the angle of the arm. Yeah. You see his arm's in this right angle now. So I'm pressing down with this hand, pulling up with this hand, which is applying pressure onto his shoulder there. Yeah. Tap. Okay. I'm trying to snap that. Over rotate the shoulder. But you'll notice I'm basically going for the same play. Footwork's the same, first hand position's the same, coming through that posture from Sally down to Porto de Ferro, I'm just ending up with a slightly different result, which results in a different play. Alright, next one. Remedy again, okay? So for this time, I'm going to go for 
we're not doing this in order, by the way, in the Getty, because the next play uh, is slightly different. So we're going to skip a play and then come back to it, okay? Right, Ligador Satana. We get the rotation down, but we'll fold it in over there, okay? Now I've got control there, little bit of a rotation, elbow up, wrist down, there we go, okay? For me, the decision point is here. I can feel I've got my elbow, I can feel I'm not going to get a straight arm for the arm bar. Just throw it straight in, apply pressure. If he's big and strong, you can start doubling up. But basically, the more crank you can put on there, the more pressure it applies to the shoulder. Right. So, I said we skipped one, so let's come back to that. We get the wrist, okay? So this time, we're going for two hands, getting control up near the wrist. There's a few different reasons why you might be doing this. So, it could be a panic response, where instead of a decent remedy, you've gone into a cover from Costa Frontale, or, I don't know, could be multiple different scenarios, maybe he's pulling back away from you, you end up with a wrist, whatever it is. However you end up in this position, you end up with two hands on the wrist, dig your elbow in, there, okay? So now the elbow is digging into his elbow, I'm dropping my body weight all on this side of my body as I'm pulling up here. If he tries to stand up, I can just cinch my body weight down, get the strip, stab, stab. And so the good way of thinking about it is you're either going for the body takedown, down the centre, or you're coming through with that step in, okay? Over to your right. The only one we've not done is a counter. So if I'm attacking, keep this hand up, have it ready, have it ready, do something, because this needs to be quick. He only shows one counter, the third master. If he's coming in for anything, get a hold of your dagger, even if he comes in, from there, step back and down. Right, and that's our interpretation of the master dagger.